Static menus is the place that you can create your own menus for special events, for maybe you have different restaurants within your community, or maybe you just want to do an always available menu. You create it as you need to, and there's three areas that you work on. There's the settings, there's the structure of the menu itself, and then there's the recipes. When you work on the settings portion, you can change the font size. You can uh, take away the logo if you don't like to see it. You could add a header or a subheader and play with that. The structure is where I can add a menu. And maybe my first menu is going to be my um, always available menu. And you can have categories in your always available menu. Maybe my first category is going to be my entrees. And then I can add recipes and select recipes to my entrees. Oops, let's spell entree correct. So if I want to do a chef salad, for example, I can pick a chef salad and then I can put a description here as I choose to. And then I can add um, another item. And maybe I'm going to do a hamburger. And we'll just pick American hamburger. And again, you can put a description. And let's pick uh, another one. Let's just pick a fish of some type. And select that. Now, if I want to reorder the items within my entrees, I can just uh, drag and drop and, and change the order. Now, maybe I'm going to have another category. And this one's going to be uh, maybe my sides. And I'm going to do, uh, let's do cottage cheese. And again, I can add as many items underneath uh, the sides as I want. Now, if I want to change uh, the order of my categories, I can just drag and drop it and do that. You also can collapse these items by clicking on these little down arrows. So if I want to collapse everything or just the category and so on. If I don't want to see the label as always available, maybe I turn it off. And so you can play with that. You then you can go to the recipe portion of this and print your recipes. I can check which recipes I want to print and then say print selected items. I also can put production numbers. So if I say I think an average of five people have a hamburger each day, it'll add that to my shopping list. So that's an option you can do and then you can save your production numbers. If I'd like to add another menu, maybe um, I'm going to have a special event. Um, it can be whatever special event, a birthday or a holiday or whatever. I'm just going to call it special. And um, maybe I'm not going to give it any category, but I'm going to select some recipes. Maybe we want to have a cake. Um, and let's add, I don't want my category to show. And let's add um, ice cream. And so you can add as many categories uh, as you choose to and move, uh, move them around. Uh, but right here I can switch to my always available menu or I can go to my special that I just did. And then when I'm ready to print things, I probably want to go look at my settings again and uh, look how I want to print things. We have different layouts. There's a couple of simple layouts, layout one, layout two. The match menu just means that we're going to match what font you have on your daily menu. So if you have a, a book that you give your residents and one side is your daily menu and this one is your always available menu, that the fonts will match. But you can play with that and then when you're ready to go you can say print. It'll open up a PDF file and um, then that'll be your um, menu that you have created.